So we're outside Nakiryu now, which is the other Michelin star restaurant in Tokyo. Literally like a 10 minute walking distance away. But this one's quite different seeing how there's no ticket system. You literally just wait in line until it's your turn. Alright, now we're next to Nakiryu. Second Michelin restaurant today. Thank you. Thank you. So we got our English menu. Oh, what do I get? Hmm. Maybe I'll get their number one. That's probably their recommended, huh? They have one that's also the soy-based ramen with shrimp wonton for $1,300. So we're gonna order from their ticket machine. It's one bowl per person. So we're gonna stick money in. Maybe I'll get number six for a direct comparison. Which one is that? One, two, three, four, five. One thousand one hundred. I get twenty three, which sounds good too. I want some more thick pork. Say so Nakiri was now second bowl ramen within a couple hours, so this should be really good. Excited to try out their uh, got number six, which is their ramen, and then we're gonna see how good it is in comparison. There's also a TV crew too at this restaurant, so it's pretty awesome. <laughs> So here we have is our shoyu ramen, it's egg, chashu, um, there's wonton in it as well, there's the mema which is the bamboo shoots, and then the negi which is the spring onion with the shoyu based sauce. And then we ordered extra grilled pork on the side, yum. Alright let's get some of this broth to try first. Such a clear color. good and light. It wouldn't be a video without a noodle pole. See these noodles. Oh. Pork on the 
the side that I got. Look at the cut on this meat. It's finally cut, torched on the outside. Fatty, juicy. The meat is so tender and soft, and it has like a big smoke to it. It's so good. The only thing we have left is this egg. I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh, it's super runny. Oh, this egg is beautiful. It's like super runny on the inside. Did you eat ramen? Number one? Uh, number six. Number six? Number six. What is number one? Uh, number one. Num oh, ranking? Ranking? Rank oh, here? Ooh. Maybe Thai with Suta. Oh, Suta yeah. and Nakiryu, number one for me. And then um, I think number two for me is men Mensho Ramen, but that's in San Francisco in the United States. So those are my favorite <laughs> so far. Next, next in Japan, come come to Japan. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you want to eat the nakiru? Uh, if I come here again? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I would love to come here again and eat. Uh, I would try uh, Tantamen next time, next time. But it's very good, very good here. Thank you very so we just got interviewed. <laughs> I tried to vlog it, but I think it would be weird if I was holding my camera and then they were holding a camera and also interviewing me at the same time. Oh, so I'm definitely full from eating at Sude and Nakiryu. Like two two bowls of ramen, one stomach. Like I'm stuck. Uh, but for the most part, like you may be wondering like how I rank these two places. So both of these two places are phenomenal. I'm glad that I got to try both in, <laughs> within one day or actually within a couple hours from each other as a matter of fact. Um, both are very good at ramen joints. But uh, if I had to do a comparison between the two, let's say I'll start with the broth. So both broths, very good. Uh, I enjoy Suda's, I enjoy Nakiryu's broth. Very good shoyu based broth. Uh, noodles, both of them are very good. But I think uh, Suda's noodles are a little bit better. They had that little bite to it as well, like al dente. Uh, regarding the toppings, uh, I felt like Nakiryu's toppings felt a lot different from Suda. And it, it reminded me a lot of Chinese cuisine, actually. Immediately, the moment I took a bite of that char shu and wonton, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm at a wonton, a, a Chinese wonton shop and eating a Chinese char shu. And I was like, okay, this is a little bit different. I would have to say for Nakiryu, it's like, it's more of a Chinese Japanese fusion shoyu ramen. That's how I would describe it. And then for um, for sudas, I felt like that's more of like a Japanese ramen. But I know in Japan there's a lot of styles of ramen, a lot of different types of broth toppings that you could provide on on it. But this is my strictly my own opinion. So if I had to pick between the two, like I would probably go to sudas first, and then if I wanted to try. Um, Nakiryu, I would definitely try it, but I think overall both are very good, but um, Suda is definitely my pick, my go-to choice if I had to go to only one in Japan. Sorry Nakiryu. But definitely if you have the chance to, try both and then tell me down in the channel in the comment section which one you like below. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is just maybe walk around a little bit, explore the area and then head back to the guest house and relax a bit. Uh, seeing how I just literally woke up, brushed my teeth and then got out just to eat ramen. So I need to take a little bit of a break.